Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I want to talk to you about Polar's latest addition to their lineup, the Polar Pacer Pro. Bit of a tongue tire. Polar Pacer Pro, Polar Pacer Pro. And Polar was kind enough to send me a beta version of this watch a couple weeks before it was officially released, so I've had plenty of time to put it through its paces. See what it did there? And now I can tell you all about it. And guys, I've got to say, this represents incredible value. In fact, dare I say that this represents the best value that I've seen from Polar yet? Now, if you've been following me for a while, either here on YouTube or on Strava, you have probably seen that my watch of choice is the Polar Grit X Pro, and this is their top of the line watch. Substantially heavier than the Polar Pacer Pro, but the Grit X Pro costs $500. The Polar Pacer Pro is released for $299.95. That's US dollars and euros. So in this video, I'm not going to go over everything. I'm sure there are going to be questions that you may have, and feel free to write them in the comments. But I'm going to go over the main features of the Polar Pacer Pro, and I'm going to tell you some of the other features that are included on other Polar watches, just so you know what you're getting into. The Polar Pacer Pro is available in carbon gray, mid Night Blue, Autumn Maroon, Aurora Green, and this is the Snow White colorway. Pretty gorgeous, right? With that red on the back of the strap. Now the Polar Pacer Pro is 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters by 11 and a half millimeters. It is a lightweight design. The case is, well, it's plastic, and we really can't expect much more than that at this price point. Let's just go right back for a second to the Polar Vantage V2. It's a unibody aluminum casing, but you're paying $200 more for that. Polar Pacer Pro has this plastic casing with some aluminum accents around the bezel. It's really quite a pleasure to look at. And it's really quite light. It weighs in at 41 grams with the strap. If you take the strap off, the actual watch only weighs 23 grams. And the reason that they give you the weight of the watch with the strap and without the strap is because the strap is removable and you can put on any 20 millimeter strap that you like. Polar is now including the shift adapter with the Polar Pacer Pro. And you see how the watch kind of sits like this and the strap is kind of wrapping around your wrist and the other style of strap kind of just lays straight out. Let's look at the Grit X Pro. We can see that it lays flat when it's on a surface. The shift adapter allows you to put on a different strap that will make it lay flat, depending on what you prefer. Also nice to have the option if I wanted to change the strap. The Polar Pacer Pro features Gorilla Glass 3.0, which, if you hadn't guessed, is at least one times better than the Gorilla Glass 2.0. No, but seriously, the Gorilla Glass 3.0 is only 1.1 millimeters thick. And with that new glass and the new casing, it means everything is three millimeters closer to the surface, which makes the display far easier to read. So it's not only moving everything three millimeters close to the surface, the display has been optimized to improve readability. Now it is a non-touch display, everything is accessed by the buttons, and we have two buttons on the left hand side, we have three buttons on the right hand side. And these buttons are pretty nice. The buttons have kind of like a raised ribbed feeling to them, which gives your finger a nice feeling of grippiness on the buttons. You know when you get a smooth button and you're out running and you're all sweaty and all of a sudden your finger slides off the button and you don't hit that lap exactly when you need to? Well my friends, it's very unlikely that's going to happen with the Polar Pacer Pro because of these raised ridges on the buttons. It's really quite lovely. Now as well as just optimizing the display for better readability, Polar has also made a lot of changes on the inside. Stuff you're not necessarily going to see, but you are going to experience. Polar Pacer Pro does include an upgraded processor, which is going to make the whole UI experience a lot better. It is two times faster and has seven times more RAM than the Vantage M2. Now I know Paula is synonymous with heart rate monitors and they have been the leader in that field for well, a very long time. But before I get into the heart rate monitor, I do want to talk to you about battery life because I think after price, that is one of the most important things that we look at when we're buying a GPS watch. And the Polar Pacer Pro features a 273 milliamp hour battery and that power gives you up to 35 hours of continuous tracking. That's with one second GPS pinging, so the most accurate, and full-time optical heart rate monitoring. If you are one of the few that do do one of these really longer events, you have the option of putting it into a battery saver mode, and that will extend the GPS tracking time up to 100 hours. How many of you have been out doing some kind of activity for more than 100 hours? Let me know in the comments. And basically, Polar achieves this by slowing down the rate at which the watch samples the GPS satellites. And you can slow it down to either one minute or two minutes. Obviously, two minutes will give you the longest possible GPS tracking time. It's important for us to know as athletes how much time do we have left using GPS. And this is a feature that I love with Polar. So what I'm going to do now is just open up the training app. But you can see right here, right to the left of the battery monitor at the top of the screen is how many hours of GPS you have left. And this is a great feature because you know when you go to start a run outside, you can immediately see how many hours of GPS and optical heart rate tracking you have left. Okay, let's talk about the heart rate monitor. And I have been absolutely thrilled with the heart rate monitor performance on the Polar Pacer Pro. So the Polar Pacer Pro does feature 10 LED 
series of different colors and wavelengths. And those different colors and wavelengths are to get the heart rate from different skin tones. There are also four light detectors that pick up the light returning from inside your wrist and bouncing off the blood vessels, which is how the watch actually determines your heart rate. And it is extremely precise. And I know this because I have been testing the Polar Pacer Pro with another watch tethered to the Polar H10 heart rate monitor. And this has to be the gold standard in heart rate monitoring because typically optical heart rate sensors, they don't always work as well as we think they should. But my friends, I've got to tell you, since I have been testing the Polar Pacer Pro, I haven't had one spike or one dropout on my heart rate. It has been remarkably consistent and accurate. And what you're seeing on your screen now is a recent run I did, and it was a fairly easy run, but at the end I included six 30 second strides. And these are the heart rate monitorings of several different watches that I've been comparing with the Polar Pacer Pro. Let's just zoom in on where the work is, because this is, this is a challenging thing for a watch with an optical heart rate monitor to do, to switch back and forth between high heart rate and low heart rate and then high heart rate again. And we can actually see that all the watches in this sample actually do very well. Now the light blue is the Polar Grit X Pro. That watch is getting heart rate data from the Polar H10 heart rate monitor. And as we scroll through this, this is a very detailed look at these intervals. We can see that the Polar Pacer Pro is right in line with everything else. But most importantly, it's right in line with the Polar H10 chest-based heart rate monitor. This is about the best evidence that I can show you of how the optical heart rate sensor on the Polar Pacer Pro works. Polar has improved the algorithm that goes into getting that heart rate out of the watch. Primarily, they're using a smooth sensor now. Now let me hold this up on the screen. You can see that it's just a flat bottom to the watch. Now let me show you the Polar Grit X Pro. There's a little bump that comes out on the bottom. Now let's look at the back of the Polar Pacer Pro, right on the heart rate monitor, on the silver bit. Do you see anything there? No, you don't, because it's not there. What isn't there is the bumps that Polar has had for a long time. Do you see the four little circles on the back of the Polar Grit X Pro? Those obviously have been determined to be no longer needed. The Polar Pacer Pro has vibration alerts only. This watch does not make any noise. And in my opinion, that is a huge plus. Whenever I get a new watch, I am always going through the menus, just trying to turn off any noise from this watch. Let me know in the comments if you actually like your watch beeping at you. It does tether to your phone, so you can get notifications on the watch. There is no replying to any texts. There is no answering your phone on your watch, but you can see what's going on. When you get a text, it'll come in, it'll show you on your watch, and you can take the appropriate action, either ignoring it or taking out your phone and answering. The Polar Pacer Pro does include music controls, so you can control any music, any podcast, anything that you're listening to while on the run. Oh, and as far as new stuff that has gone into the Polar Pacer Pro, there is a new GPS antenna, and that is gonna to contribute to improved tracking, which ultimately is exactly what we want in a GPS watch. In my experience, in my studies, in all the runs that I have used several watches to track to compare against the Polar Pacer Pro. Polar Pacer Pro is spot on when it comes to GPS accuracy. The Polar Pacer Pro has a barometer and the barometer I think is the best thing the Polar could have added to this watch. So now the Polar Pacer Pro is going to give you wrist-based power measurements. So it really opens up your training to another level. It gives you another metric to look at, another metric in order to become better. And I've been training using power for about six months now and I am really finding it a reliable metric. Because the Polar Pacer Pro does have a barometer, it allows this watch to utilize the hill splitter feature. And if you live in a hilly area, the hill splitter feature is one that you are going to want to look at. It is going to break down your training and it is going to tell you how much time you're running uphill, how much time you're running downhill. It's going to give you the grade, the amount of elevation, and it breaks it all up. So when you go back to look at your run after the fact, you can see how much work you put in. And of course, it's all available at a glance on your wrist. Polar Pacer Pro also features turn-by-turn -turn navigation using Kamut. Now, Kamut is an external navigation app. You can make your routes in Kamut and you can transfer it over to your watch. So I'm not going to go into how to set up and make a route in Kamut and then transfer it over to your watch. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the watch. So from the main screen of your watch, you're going to press the lower left hand button. That is going to enter your start training mode. If we press that, the first one I have is running. Now up here in the upper left hand corner, we have the little cog. If we press that, that brings us into all the settings about the run that we're about to do. Now let's scroll down we're gonna come down to roots. Now these are the roots that I've already set up in Kamut and I've moved them over to Polar and then downloaded them to the watch. So let's go ahead and enter this first route. We're gonna enter by pressing the red button on the right hand side of the watch. And this is a 7.6 mile route. Now we can go ahead and press start, but let's scroll down and see a little more information about the run. This is the shape of the run that it's going to be tracking. We scroll down one more time, we're gonna see an altitude screen. Now I live in Florida. This is a very flat area, so we can see just that little bump in the middle. Now as the run moves 
moves forward, you're gonna see it kind of get shaded as it moves along the route. We scroll down one more time. If I wanted to add a reminder to add cards, if I wanted to add a drink reminder in, this is where I would do that. We're gonna talk more about how you can add a cards or a drink reminder in just a second. Then if we're ready to go, if we're ready to start this run, we're gonna scroll back up. We can either start at the start point, we can start somewhere in the middle of the route, we could start at the end and run it in reverse, and we could start in the middle and run it in reverse. Now, as far as watch faces goes, you can configure different watch faces. You can have an analog, you can have a digital, and you can change a few little things to make your watch face just a little different. You can change the colors, you can change if there's seconds on the screen, that kind of thing. However, you are not gonna be inundated with hundreds of watch faces. This is very clean, it's very crisp, only the data you need. Now, Polar Watches also features little widgets, and you can choose which widgets you want on your watch at any one time. Now, I use the term widget in this sense to talk about the watch faces and the data that you want on your watch face. So first of all, you're gonna choose the watch face and then the information surrounding it, that is the widget. And the widgets, they, well, they look like this. Let me just scroll through a couple that I have. Right here, we have the FitSpark training guide. We have the weather. This is just the time. This is my daily activity. This is my cardio load status. This is my heart rate. Obviously it doesn't show anything because the watch isn't on my wrist. And this is my last training session. Now to access any more data from any of these widgets, all you do is press this button on the right hand side. And let's look at my last training session, which were, at this point was six hours ago. If I open it up, it's gonna give me data from my last run. If I open up that run, it gives me all the information about the run. I had a maximum heart rate of 162, average of 143. There it gives me my zones, the different color bars. This is my energy breakdown. The orange is carbs, the yellow is fat. Here it shows me my average pace and my maximum pace. Scroll down one more time. Let's look at the nightly recharge. Now when you wear this watch to bed, it is giving you a breakdown of your sleep. Right now, it looks like I had a pretty good night's sleep, but let's dig a little deeper into that. I had a really good sleep charge last night of 76. And of course we can open up any of those details to see more. Let's open up the sleep details. We can see that I actually got more sleep than usual last night. It tells you when you fell asleep, when you woke up. That is a pretty good night's sleep at nine hours and 22 minutes, and so on and so forth. It gets very detailed into sleep tracking. That information ties in with the cardio load status, and it lets me know how recovered I am. It lets me know if I'm ready for another hard training session. And this is incredibly important when we're using our watch to gauge our fitness, especially if we're looking to get fitter. Okay, just briefly, I wanna go over some of the other features that are on the Polar Pacer Pro. They are also on several other Polar watches, but it's still important for you to know all the features that you're getting when you buy this watch. So we're gonna Access the main menu by pushing the button on the lower left hand corner that is going to bring us to start training and we can see the dots on the right hand side let's scroll down let's look at serene now serene is basically a breathing app it's going to walk you through a breathing exercise to really calm you down if we press the middle button on the right hand side it's going to open it up and we can see here that this is set up for a three minute breathing exercise with five seconds breathing in and five seconds breathing out. All of that can be configured on your watch depending on what works best for you. Now from any screen that you're on, the lower left-hand button brings you back a screen and we're gonna go back to our main menu, scroll down one more time, and we have Strava Live Segments. Now the Strava Live Segments are brought to your watch when you link Strava with your Polar account. So every Strava segment that you have favorited in Strava, that then gets brought over to Polar. It gets downloaded to your watch. Then when you're out for a run, your watch knows where you are and it gives you a heads up that you are a approaching a segment. It is the most handy way if you're looking to get that course record or become a local legend. Okay, let's scroll down one more time to the next menu and this is fueling. Now this is the fuel wise feature and if we enter this, we have an option to set a smart carbs reminder, a manual carbs reminder, or a drink reminder. The smart carbs reminder lets the watch determine when you need to take in nutrition. If we press enter on the smart carbs reminder, I have it set for a three hour and 10 minute run, which is what I'm expecting to run a marathon. You can change this for any run that you wanna do. We scroll down, we tell the watch the intensity. We scroll down one more time and we can set the amount of carbs per serving. Now my gel of choice is this spring energy awesome sauce. It is 180 calories and 44 grams of carbs. So when I put 44 grams of carbs into the watch, now it knows how much a serving is. Let's scroll down, we're gonna hit next. And now the watch is gonna remind me, I'm going to need to take a total of 225 grams of carbohydrates, it's gonna remind me five times. And the watch just says right here that if your session turns out to be more intense, it'll give you more frequent reminders. Okay, from fueling, we are gonna scroll down one more time and we get to timers. If we enter timers, this is where you are gonna set an alarm. This is where we have a stopwatch. We scroll down one more time, it is a countdown timer. Back out to the main menu, down we have tests. Now we have several tests on this watch. 
we have a walking test. Basically, the walking test is a very easy way to determine your VO2 max. You are going to go for a 15 minute walk as fast as you can. From that data, the watch is gonna give you your VO2 max. Let's scroll down one more time to the cycling test. The cycling test is an FTP test. You will have to have a power meter connected to the watch in order to do the cycling test. If we scroll down one more time, we come to the running test. Now the running test is a pretty difficult test. This is a typical VO2 max test. So you are going to be running either at submaximal or maximal. Obviously, if you do a maximal test, you are running up to your maximum heart rate. This is gonna get you the most exact data. I actually have a video of me doing the polar running test on my channel. I will link to it in the show notes below if you want to go and see how that works. And then if we scroll down one more time, this could be my favorite one, we come to the fitness test. Now the fitness test is a way to determine VO2 max while lying in bed, or sitting on the sofa, or doing nothing. So of course that is my favorite because it gives me information that I want without me actually having to do any work. Pretty handy. All right, my friends, that is the Polar Pacer Pro. That is my first look at the watch. Of course, I've been running with it for a couple of weeks. Now, if you do have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer each and every one of them. And of course, it is very hard to cover absolutely everything that you can do with this watch. There is so much more that you can do. If you are a runner like me, this is the only watch you're going to need. It pretty much offers everything. You can set up all your workouts. The Polar Pacer Pro has more features than I will actually use but it's good to know they're there just in case I need them. All right, my friends, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. If you are already a Polar person, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you're thinking about picking up this Polar Pacer Pro. Again, it represents absolutely phenomenal value. All right, guys, be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.